and welcome to 123 Games tutorial on Innovation. Innovation is a card game where you have a series of stacks of cards all representing different ages in history. Uh, as you play the game you move throughout these ages attempting to score cards from them and then using those scored cards to achieve essentially victory points. Uh, first person to achieve a certain number wins the game. The game itself revolves around the fact that every turn you have two actions. And with those actions, you can do one of four things. You can meld a card, uh, which essentially means put a card into play. You can draw a card, uh, which means you draw a card from one of the piles. Uh, you can achieve, which is something we'll get to later, or you can dogma, which is essentially just activate the ability on a card. Uh, there's much more to each of these, uh, which we'll get to as we play, but those are the basics. To begin, each player is dealt one card. Uh, these cards are then melded, they're put into play in front of them, and will actually be in play the rest of the game. Um, you then uh, decide turn order based on alphabetical order of the, the names of those cards. We didn't start the game correctly, we just dealt each other two cards and flipped a coin. Uh, but it's not the worst mistake we've ever made doing this web series. The player that starts the game only has one action. I start the game and for my first and only action, I play Ors, or I meld it, which is I put it into play. Ors has an ability that says I demand, which means it's something that I will demand of another player. It will affect them, but only if they have fewer castle icons showing than I do when I activate it. Otherwise, I cannot use it on my opponents. I know that this is a castle-based effect because that's what the mini icon next to the ability is. Skylar goes next, and he begins by melding mysticism. For Skylar's second action, he's going to activate mysticism's ability, or dogma, um, allowing him to draw a card from the first pile. If the card drawn from the first pile is the same color as a card he's already melded, that's already on the board, he can automatically meld it and draw another card from the one pile. Otherwise, it goes back up to his hand. Now that it's my turn, and it's not the very first turn of the game, I have two actions. I'm going to play the wheel and activate its ability, Dogma, uh, to draw two cards. Now that I've played the wheel, something interesting has happened. I now have more visical, visible castle icons than Skylar does. Mysticism only had three, whereas I have a total of five showing. Now when Skylar activates his card, Mysticism, I actually get to use the ability first because I have as many if or more icons showing than he does. So I reveal a card from the first age, and if it's the same color as a card I already have out, I put it into play. And draw another card from the first pile, the one age. <laughs> Skylar does activate the ability, um, reveals a card it is purple, so he melds it, it goes into one stack, and he draws another card from the first age. Because I successfully used his dogma on this turn, he can then also use a draw action at this point. Skylar melded city-states, which covers up mysticism. Now he cannot use mysticism's upper ability. For his second action, Skylar plays tools and passes the turn to me. Now it's on to my turn. For one of my actions, I'm going to play writing. And for my second action, I'm going to activate its dogma to draw a two, a card from the second age. Now, in the game, if somebody uses the draw for an act, one of their actions, just the normal draw card, um, they draw from a pile that has a number equal to the highest showing card on their board. So if somebody has played a two um, earlier in the game, they will draw from the second age if they use the draw ability. So Skylar uses the draw ability. He's only melded one card, so he draws from the first age. For Skylar's second action, he's going to activate tools. Both of the abilities on tools are you may abilities, which means he doesn't have to activate both. He can do one of either. Tools' first ability uh, allows you to return three cards from your hand to their appropriate ages. And if you do that, you can draw and meld a card from the third age. Uh, its second ability says that you may return a card from the third age from your hand, and if you do, you draw three cards from the first age. 
Because I have as many light bulb icons showing as Skylar does, I get to activate the dogma first. I return two cards from the first age, a card from the second age, and I draw a card from the third age and meld it or put it into play. Then it's on to Skylar. Skylar returns three cards from his hand to the first age and draws a card from the third age. Again, now that I use Skylar's Dogma successfully, he would have a chance to use a draw action. Now let's jump a little forward in the game. Let's say I've played the card Alchemy. Alchemy allows me to reveal a four card from my hand for every three castle icons I have showing on my board. If any of those cards are red, I return every card from my hand to their appropriate piles, otherwise I get to keep the cards I drew. And then I meld a card from my hand and score a card from my hand. Now scoring is very important. Scoring is essentially just taking a card and putting it under your place card on the left side, which is kind of your scoring, card scoring area. So for my turn, I'm essentially going to end up melding Enterprise and scoring a four card. Now let's say later in the game, I'd also scored a two. So I had a total of six scored card points. Um, I can then use for my uh, one of my actions, Achieve, and I can take one of those center cards. Those center cards are a card, the top card from each age except the tenth age. So when I go to take one, I can only achieve it if I've played, I've melded a card of an equal or greater age than the center card I'm trying to achieve. Also, the number of points that I have scored is equal to or greater than five times the number of that age. When you achieve a card, you just take it and put it under the other side of your playmat on the right. Depending on the number of players in your game, when somebody's achieved enough cards, they will win. Other cards that can be achieved are the special achievement cards, which sit out to the side. Uh, they can be achieved at any time you meet their requirements, and there are even some cards that will allow you to grab them in various ages. Also, the last thing that we'll cover is splaying, uh, an important mechanic within the game. When you splay up, you move the top cards up. You splay left, you move them left, right, you move them right. If you want to add another card uh, to a splayed pile, you continue it out a uh, splaying to whichever direction it was going. And that concludes the tutorial part of this 1-2-3 game. Remember, we're not a replacement for the rules. We're just a quick start guide to help you get going. Thanks for joining us on our tutorial for innovation. Next time, we're going to go over an old classic, one of my favorites from our vault. Oh god! Oh god, did you hear that? I didn't. What? Is that? Is that Dave? You told me we were safe here! We, we should be fine, as long as he hasn't figured out how to open doors. Run! Hey guys, it's time to do another review! Do you think we're safe down here? We should be. As long as he doesn't know how to turn on the lights. You guys playing Super Dungeon Explore down there? Mind if I join in? Next time on 1-2-3 Game, I show you how to hide bodies.